Good morning, everyone. This is Deborah. I am taking a walk with Abby. Um, as I have shared before, Cure is at home in heaven waiting for me to come up there. And um, Molly is not, she, Molly, my black and white girl, she is um, 16 years old. And she is not able to take these long walks anymore. I am feeling led to share some things with you just as warnings. There are things that the Father has shown me and I just want to share them to um, just maybe give you another uh, side of the uh, what's going on right now in this uh, country of ours. Um, and this goes back to when Hillary Clinton was running for president against Donald Trump. And I had not voted, I think I voted once in my whole life before this, this period of time. I think I voted for Jimmy Carter because he claimed he was a Christian. I don't know if he was. It seems like he probably was, but I don't know. But after that, um, I became disillusioned with... Um, our government, the politics, the lies. And so I stopped voting. And when I heard that Hillary Clinton was running for president against Donald Trump, I was so, uh, it was horrible. I, you know, I had nothing against Donald Trump, but I certainly could not even look at Hillary Clinton. And so I went and registered to vote after all these years and um, because I intended to vote for Donald Trump. So I registered and I was home one morning walking down the hallway and I was contemplating the, the election and I was thinking about how I was going to vote for Donald Trump. And as soon as I had that thought, the Holy Spirit spoke and said, King Saul. Now, I knew immediately what Father was trying to tell me. Remember how the Israelites wanted a king? And they got King Saul, and Father was angry with them about it. And um, it didn't, the thing didn't work out very well as in the end, as we know. So as soon as he said King Saul, I knew exactly what he was what point he was trying to make. So I did not vote. But I kept watching the, you know, the, the videos. I don't watch TV. The father told me to stop watching TV back when 9-11 happened, actually. And um, so I was, I have a phone, so I would watch I would watch these things to see how they were, you know, turning in, what they were, how things were going, and really kind of questioning whether I really um, heard the Lord say King Saul or not, which I was very, I was pretty sure he did. So as I'm watching um, Donald Trump, I'm saying to myself, gosh, he seems so sincere, you know? And then when he quoted that, um, snake poem. Remember the snake poem? This old lady had a snake or something. I don't even remember it now. Something, I think it was a snake. I don't think it was an alligator. I don't know why, why do I think of an alligator? But anyway, this, he, this woman took care of this snake and brought it back to health and all this stuff. And it wound up turning on her. And his words were, you know, didn't you know that I was a snake or something like that. And the Lord attributed that when Donald Trump was quoting that poem, he actually, the Holy Spirit let me know that he was referring to himself. And this was just one of the warnings the Holy Spirit kept giving me about Donald Trump. And then I watched a video of a young woman. Um, she was probably in her mid twenties. She could have been 30. She had been a, um, what I call that, there was a famous bar in Washington, 
and FBI agents used to go there and, you know, just a lot of people from Washington, big, big shots and stuff. And, um, one of the, one of the police, whatever, I, I can't remember what his real title was. He was talking to her. Now this was years ago. This was before Donald became the president. And he told her, oh, I, he was part of the FBI, I guess. And he told her that Donald Trump had been chosen to be president way back. He, you know, he gave a, a time frame and it was really before that election was even, you know, coming to pass. So she shared that story. And there were just things the Lord kept putting in my face to show me that Donald Trump was not who he claims to be. So I just was watching and, you know, interest in, in, you know, it wasn't that I wasn't believing the Lord. It was just, you know, wanting to make sure that I had heard correctly. And lo and behold, he winds up being our president. Now, I have shared on my other video, uh, another video I had, how the father took me up into the sky during a dream experience. It was actually, I knew I was on a mission for the Lord. I was walking along a road and the Lord, uh, something fell out of the sky and landed over, you know, away from me and I could see the blood and I knew it had been a person. And then, um, because I missed it, the Lord made me redo the scene. And this time he pulled me up into the air and I saw Obama wrapped up in a striped cloth and his leg was sticking out blah 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 you'll have to look up one of my videos to see that story because he, i had been told he was silenced i found out his mother had was bet, had been in an a cult and she de dedicated uh obama to satan and all that stuff so so now um okay lord bring it back to me what was my point okay so so the lord kept giving me confirmations of who Donald Trump was because I kept doubting because he seemed so sincere and he was helping the mayor become great again and um, so three dreams he came to me and in those dreams he was trying to seduce me okay he would show up in these dreams in the weirdest spot you know weirdest times and places out of the middle of nowhere and he'd be positioning me. He'd try to, you know, get me to have sex with him. And of course, I rebuked him every time. And um, then finally, finally, the father really got a hold of me to silence these thoughts once and for all about how sincere Donald Trump was. So I was sleeping one night and I had, okay, Wait, I want to. I gonna have to tell one more story. Okay, so I was in. I was in a parking garage in one of these dreams. I think this was my third dream, and um, I was standing. You know those those big big buildings, and they have the um, underground parking lots, and they have the elevators that you can ride from the levels of parking to the you know building whatever. And I was standing at the elevator waiting for it to come down. And Donald Trump shows up. There he is, and he's once again propositioning me, wanting to have sex with me. And I said to him, I got, I became, you know, irritated. And I said, stop trying to seduce me. Go home to your wife. And the next thing I know, here comes the beast. You know, the beast, the black car that the, they, you know, they uh, take the president with around with that car drives up close to where I was standing the door opens and Melania steps out of the darkness and she gets into the back door opens she goes gets into the back door and Donald Trump climbs in beside her the door closes and the beast drives away now think about this guys he is part of the beast, okay? I don't care how sincere he seems because I was fooled by that. I was fooled by that myself. And so now, fast forward, okay, so he gave me the dream and I'm like, okay, Lord, I, 
I understand what you're trying to say. I understand. And, and um, you know, now time goes by. I mean, I can be, you know, I, I doubt the Lord so much sometimes, or I doubt myself, you know what I mean? And I'm very hard on myself. And um, so now time, more time passes and I'm still looking and saying, gosh, this guy looks like he's really helping America. And so Father gives me one last sign. And I was sleeping and suddenly in my sleep, I had the most vulgar, horrible vision, horrible. I saw, and it was so real, it was as if I was standing right in front of them. Donald Trump and Barack Obama were clenched together in the room where that desk is, the famous desk there. They're kissing each other passionately, and I can't even describe how vulgar it was to me and I woke up and I slid out of bed crying and repenting so I do not I am not God but I cannot forget the things that he showed me and I am just putting out this warning because Donald Trump looks so sincere and he sounds like he really wants to help America. But I am telling you, you know, he talks about God. Well, he doesn't say Jesus Christ is his savior. He doesn't talk about repentance. I still believe, I have to believe this is a show. I have to believe this is not real, that it's all staged. And I'm just putting this out there to give you a warning. Please take it to the Lord. Because, again, the Lord just gave me a warning yesterday because I was saying, wow, maybe he really has, you know, repented and maybe he's, you know, now serving you. But I can't, I can't think that way because I don't believe the Lord would have given me all those dreams for, for no reason. If Donald Trump was going to repent, something's coming. Something is coming. And I believe... I believe that Trump is part of the great deception. Remember the Bible says in the last days there's going to be such a great deception that even the very elect, if it's possible, will be deceived. Now, if if we can look at this realistically, we can say to ourselves, this just may be that great deception that's going to, to fool a lot of Christians. So please... If you have to fast about it to get the true, you know, revelation about what's going on, please do so because it's important. It's important. And um, we do not want to be serving Satan and, and you know, progressing his, his uh, plans for America. I mean, they will happen. Father told me years ago on 9-11 that America was Babylon and he was going to destroy it. And you look around at what's gone on with our country, raping children right out in the open. They have, you know, it, it's just so disgusting. I can't even believe it. I do not believe God is going to bless this country. I just really don't. All right. Well, that's my, that's my story and I am sticking to it. Love you guys. Shalom.